Within hours of the shooting, Daytona Beach police here? released to the media and the public this body cam video, which included the moment Officer Rayner was shot last night. Now, we chose not to air the entire clip, which showed the seconds that the officer was shot. But today, after careful consideration and deep discussion in our newsroom and with law enforcement around the community, we have decided it is important to show you in its entirety. Yeah, so in our new digital show, Solutionaries, investigator Lewis Bolden has been focusing on the relationship between law enforcement and the community. He joins us now to walk us through the seconds that changed this officer's life and why it's so important to understand the risk our law enforcement officers face every single day. Lewis. Our newsroom has been focusing on policing for the past year and intensely for the last four months on solutionaries. Every time there is an incident with an officer and a suspect, we analyze it thoroughly before making the decision to air it. Tonight, Trooper Steve Montiero and I want to show you what this officer was up against. And I have to warn you, this is difficult to watch. As police continue searching for Otho Wallace, who they say shot a 26-year-old Daytona Beach police officer, Daytona Beach police quickly released the officer's body camera footage. The video is tragic. You know, it's, it shows something that we don't see really much ever. News 6 initially stopped the video just before the officer is shot, but we strive for transparency, so it sparked a discussion in our newsroom. Do you believe the public should see that video in its entirety? Yes. Why? Over the past year, we have seen so many law enforcement encounters that have kind of motivated for reform, and those videos were graphic. And this is the stuff that as a cop, you fear. And I think showing something like this to the community can create a mutual respect. Whenever there is video like this, my concern is always the family of the officers, the, the family seeing this video over and over again. I know that my family, if this was me, would want that out there. Trooper Steve believes the video gives the public an up-close look at what officers are up against every day. I watched the video in its entirety for the first time with him. Do you live here? So he's asking him normal questions. The entire exchange between Officer Jason Rayner and Otho Wallace is 29 seconds. We decided to show the video in its entirety to show you just how fast it happened. First, there's a verbal exchange. Sit down. Why are you asking me do I live here? Do you live here, yes or no? Then there appears to be a scuffle, and in the middle of it, you barely hear the gunshot. Why do you think it's important for the public to see it? I think there is a perspective that we don't see. We see a third camera all the time, a cell phone video. Mm -hmm. This is a one-on-one -on -one interaction taking place with two human beings, one on the right side of the law and the other one on the bad side. And in less than 30 seconds, everybody's life has changed. Mm. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young weighed in as well. If we didn't want it out, we would not have released it. I realize it was graphic, but I wanted it to, I want it to make an impact. We needed it to make the impact that it made. And that was, that was our goal in releasing that, that footage, because I still believe in this country, the good outweighs the bad. And the good-hearted folks that see a video like that, if they have any information, that right there will get them to speak up. You heard the chief. He put that video out for a purpose. It is for the community to see it and possibly generate leads. If you have any information about Otho Wallace, contact Daytona Beach Police. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.